Hello, welcome to Geojit Spotlight. The undertone of this market continues to be bullish. Nifty has rallied around 4.2 percentage during the last two weeks and around 8 percentage so far this year. In the present market context, investors should keep in mind the following facts. 1. This bull market has a long way to go. So, remain invested and continue to invest systematically. 2. Market valuations are higher than historical averages. Nifty is now trading at around 21 times, close to 21 times estimated FI25 earnings. The market is resilient despite high valuations since domestic flows are strong and is sustaining. During the first five months of this year, FII sold equity for rupees 1,26,532 crores. But the massive DII buying of rupees 2,8,353 crores completely eclipsed the FII selling. Monthly SIP inflows is above 20,000 crores. So long as this domestic liquidity gush sustain, the market will remain resilient. Liquidity alone cannot sustain a market rally. A bull market needs fundamental support. It is important to understand that this market has fundamental support. GDP growth is impressive at 8.2 percentage for FI24. In FI25, India can achieve a growth of about 7%. Last financial year, that is FI24, Nifty 500 delivered earnings growth of 24%. This is strong fundamental support. Four, a word of caution here. Many retail investors, traders are chasing some momentum stocks, for example, stocks in defense, railways, etc. There is no doubt that the growth prospects of these companies are very bright. But investors should remember that most of the good news is already in the price. Market has already discounted earnings of the next three to four years. Five. At the same time, there is valuation comfort in large cap financials, particularly leading banks, both in the private sector and also in the leading PSU banks. Automobiles is another segment where valuations are fair when seen from the perspective of potential growth for many years. This uh, industry is now in a cyclical uptrend. In the broader market, that is, in the mid and small cap segments, it is better to invest through the mutual fund route, ideally through systematic investment plan.